What's going on, guys? Welcome to the Talking Balls Network. My name's Boogie Bentley. You know, sometimes we as Tennessee fans, we feel disrespected. And I want you to jump into the comment section and tell me why we feel disrespected. And I've got a couple of examples here. You know, we can look at the Heisman Trophy, right? We, we feel disrespect there. I mean, we can go back to just a couple of years ago with Hendon Hooker. And I'm not saying that Hendon Hooker deserved to win the Heisman Trophy, but he definitely deserved to represent this football team and be a part of the ceremony. I think he deserved to be a Heisman Trophy finalist. But the big one that us as Tennessee fans talk about is Charles Woodson winning the Heisman Trophy over Peyton Manning in 1997. Some of the old-timers would go a step further and say it was more of a tragedy that Johnny Majors missed out on the Heisman Trophy in 1956. Uh, he rushed for 550, 49 yards, excuse me, seven touchdowns, also threw for 552 yards and five touchdowns. The winner threw for 917 and three touchdowns, rushed for 420 yards and three touchdowns. So Johnny Majors got in the end zone a whole lot more in 1956. But it's not just the Heisman Trophy. It's every time we see the AP poll come out. We just shake our heads and some of you guys get mad and fired up and you tweet it out and say, can you believe this, Boogie? Well, I mean, yeah, I can because we see it all the time. Again, go back to 2022. You got Tennessee. You got Alabama. Both teams with two losses. Guess what? Those teams played each other head-to-head -head and Tennessee settled it on the field, but Alabama still ranked ahead of Tennessee. We saw it this year. As recently as this year in 2024, clearly Alabama losing to Vanderbilt wasn't that big of a deal. Everybody was ready to talk about how good Vanderbilt was, and then Tennessee goes on the road, loses to Arkansas, and the sky is falling. So, of course, Alabama would be ranked ahead of Tennessee until Tennessee goes out and proves it on the field. We also see it in recruiting rankings, right? Guy commits to Tennessee. I can just guarantee that my comment section is going to be filled with you guys talking about, well, his star ranking is going to drop. We see it time and time again. Commit to Alabama, commit to Georgia, commit to Ohio State, get ready for a rankings boost, commit to Tennessee, get ready to see that fifth star drop off. And we saw it most recently with George McIntyre, right? Five-star quarterback, top 15 overall player, commits to Tennessee. The ranking starts to drop. He loses the fifth star. He drops all the way down to the 104th overall player in the country. And I like George's – I like I like his mindset. He took to Twitter and said, I guess they don't get to see me throw enough in shorts and a T-shirt because he's mocking, right, the camps, the seven-on-sevens that George didn't take part in. His rankings dropped during the offseason. The kid wasn't even playing football when he dropped off and lost that fifth star. It's happened again. They did it. Again, and I like the way that our kid responded. We're going to get into it. We're going to talk about it. But as always, I need you guys to do that YouTube stuff for me, man. Just smash the thumbs up just below the video. It's quick. It's free. It's easy. And it helps the channel. And I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, also, if you're new to the Talking Falls Network, welcome. We're not experts here. Uh, we're not insiders. We're not media. We're not reporters. We're not journalists. We don't pretend to be any of that. What this channel is, is for the fans, by the fans. It's supposed to be like you're hanging out with your buddies, talking Tennessee football, laid back, that's what this channel is about. If you like it, make sure you subscribe. Click that bell for notifications. You won't miss out when we go live or when we drop a video. It's a bye week. We don't have a game tomorrow. It's going to be a laid back weekend. Go enjoy some football without that stress. That's what it's all about. We will be back live Monday morning, 9 a.m. Me and Eric Kane will be live Tuesday night at 6.30 playing EA Sports College Football. We'll be live Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Eastern time. You guys ever like breakfast for dinner? You ever like breakfast for dinner? Because I was thinking about maybe next Wednesday. Wednesday evening, having a little pancakes and bacon, but I will let you guys know. But let's get into it. Let's talk about the guy that's being disrespected most recently. That is Carson Sneed, a four-star tight end out of Nashville, Tennessee. You can see there on three industry rankings, still pretty high. Four-star tight end, 215th nationally. But if you go down and take a look at 247 Sports, they have dropped him down to a three-star. Now, he committed to Tennessee back on August the 5th over Ohio State, Auburn, Ole Miss, Louisville. Uh, coming off the commitment, he said, it's a great feeling, something I've been chasing since I was a kid. Again, Nashville, Tennessee, in-state kid. When it means something, that's special, man. When they when they appreciate getting to rep the power T. I know a lot of people feel like that's, that's not a thing anymore, that that's a lost art. It's not. Some of these kids still love repping the Tennessee power T. Uh, he goes on to say, the future is bright. We're trending up right now, and that's not stopping anytime soon. Now, he said that back in August after the commitment. Now you look at the way the season's played out. You got big wins over Florida, big win over Alabama, rivalries at home. Coming off the Alabama game, you landed two commitments in the class of 26. 
four-star offensive lineman Brandon Anderson, a three-star defensive lineman in Tyson Bacon. Those come in within 48 hours because the environment was electric. You've got another opportunity coming up with Kentucky next weekend. It's going to be a night game. You guys know it's going to be dark mode. You know that's going to be another electric environment, and, and that plays into recruiting. It does. It makes an impact on these kids. Isaiah Campbell is another kid that was in town uh, over the over the weekend. Uh Four-star defensive lineman, class of 25. He's a top 50 overall guy. Now, according to BallQuest, he's trending to Tennessee. He may cancel his trip to North Carolina. Just a ton of 26 guys on campus as well. Uh, Also, after the commitment, he said it was another good weekend on Rocky Top. They expressed how much they still want me, and I got to meet some of the guys that they are hard after. Now, the fact that Tennessee wants him, the the fact that Tennessee makes him a priority – I mean, that, that's what it is all about. At the end of the day, it's about evaluations, and you have to trust your evaluations. Now, again, Carson Sneed, his ranking dropped off from 247 Sports. Let's go see the scouting report from 247 Sports, and then we're going to take to Twitter and see how Carson Sneed reacted to this uh, drop in the rankings. The scouting report, this is Andrew Ivins, again, 247 Sports. Throwback, inline tight end prospect that has actually received – some valuable snaps at offensive tackle while also doubling as a front seven defender. Uh, size has not been third-party verified, but is believed to be over 6'5", with room to eventually carry 260 or more. Says here, rather effective at this stage as an attached blocker and should only get better at sealing off run lanes with improved technique and further physical development. Hasn't proven to be a real vertical threat. Now, I wonder if this is what has Carson Sneed fired up and firing off on Twitter. He says, hasn't been proven to be a real vertical threat in the passing game, but can slip out of the backfield and find soft spots in zone coverage, especially down in the red zone. Should be viewed as a potential asset in an offense that's heavy on the two and three tight end sets. Could thrive in a sniffer role. So it sounds to me they're talking about offensive line play, playing offensive tackle, sealing off in the run game, and then he hasn't really proven to be a real threat in the vertical passing game. Well, let's go take a look at what Carson Sneed uh, and how he feels about that. He takes to Twitter. Uh, You can see this tweet came out a couple of days ago. Uh, He says, before y'all keep dropping my rankings, just remember I was doing this to y'all's top players in the country two weeks fresh off of a fractured ankle. You can see here uh, him on the left side of the screen right there. He's got the ankle brace there on the left ankle. Now this matchup here, Carson Sneed versus Keenan Harris. Uh, Keenan Harris is a four-star safety according to On3. 247 Sports has him as a three-star but he is a four-star in the on-three industry ranking. So this is an elite prospect. Let's go take a look at what Carson Sneed does here. Fake outside, move back inside, double move back. Look at him. Look at him making plays. Let's go look at another one here. Set it reset. All right, here we go. I mean, just torching guys. Not a vertical threat. Coming off of a fractured fractured ankle. Not a vertical threat. Let's watch this one. This is a bad throw by the quarterback, but again, gets open. I mean, wide open. Bad throw by the quarterback, but still goes up and makes a play. So I think Carson Sneed clearly took this personal, going to Twitter and say, before y'all drop me in the rankings, remember, I was doing this to y'all's top players in the country. So the disrespect continues. Let them hate. Let him disrespect. And I love that George responded to it with a chip on his shoulder. And I love that Carson Sneed is responding to it with a chip on his shoulder. Right now in the class of 26, you got Faison Brandon, five-star quarterback on three. Actually has Brandon as a four-star, but the industry rankings have him as a five-star. 247 Sports have him as the number one player in the country. Carson Sneed, who we just talked about. Brandon Anderson, a four-star offensive lineman. And Tyson Bacon, a three-star defensive lineman. And, and I get it. We, we are star gazers. That's what fans do. But all that matters. It doesn't matter what some guy sitting in an office uh, breaking down film and grading out these players and giving out star rankings. It doesn't matter what they think. What matters is is what Josh Heupel thinks, what Alec Ablin thinks, what Joey Halsley thinks. And I think this coaching staff has shown that they're doing a great job of not only evaluating, but also developing talent 
uh, in, in this program. So leave your thoughts on this, gentlemen, in the comment section. I particularly love that he that he responded with a chip on his shoulder. Uh, how has Tennessee been disrespected to you? Put that in the comment section. Go check out the official merchandise of the Talking Balls Network. We got two brand new shirts, State Pride 2.0. You can see there the state outline with the clean circle logo in the middle, Talking Balls Network. Also, good old Nate Pruitt special, God bless, and go Vols. And then we got our rivalry shirts, right? Beat Georgia, beat Florida, beat Bama, Buck Fama, F-U-G-A. We also have a shirt that says we are Kentucky's daddy. And now is the time to pick up that shirt. Got Kentucky next Saturday in Neyland, dark mode. Gerald Mintz, he's given us all the bulletin board material we could possibly want. So rep that Kentucky's daddy shirt and let him know. Let him know. Shout out to all the members of the channel. We appreciate you guys. You guys keep the lot bill paid around here. Without you, this channel does not exist. If you're not a if you're not a member, if you don't have a power T beside your name, you can fix that. Hit that join button down below right beside subscribe, or you can go into the description of this video, and there is a link there where you can become a member as well. For as little as a dollar a month, the more you give, the more you get. You get access to fan call-in shows, all kinds of fun perks and benefits. But that is going to do it for this one. This is the Talking Balls Network. My name is Boogie Bentley. Go Big Orange.